Today we are here at Cambridge Regional College to talk to Charlie about some of the things that need to be taken into consideration when carrying out a risk assessment. Now most of us don't realise it, but we're actually carrying out a risk assessment almost every second of every day. From tasks as simple as crossing the road to some more complicated ones like drilling holes into walls. While you're studying to become an electrician, it is absolutely essential that you know how to carry out a risk assessment. It's requirements for the qualifications that you'll be doing, and when you're working on site, it's absolutely necessary to carry out a documented risk assessment for some of the larger jobs that you'll be involved with. So Charlie, you're training to become an electrician. Now, can you tell me, do you find carrying out risk assessments improve the safety of your work environment? Oh yes, definitely. Some things you don't even realise to be a risk. When you actually sit down and analyse, there are ways around making the site safer. Absolutely. Even in seemingly safe environments, when you sit down and analyse the situation, you start to pick out things that may pose a risk in the work that you're about to be carrying out, and you can find solutions to make that a little bit safer. So, Charlie, today you're going to be carrying out work on a light fitting at a high level. Can you tell me what considerations you have to make for the environment, what risks there might be, and who or what will be affected? Well, the work I'm going to be doing today is going to affect staff working in the building and members of public coming in and out of the building. So what kind of things could you do to reduce the impact on those people? Well the first thing I do is keep in communication with the appropriate people, so staff in the area and people coming in and out. That's perfect, so you make people aware of what's going on, that you're going to be there. Is there anything else you can do to reduce that risk further? Well I could put barriers up and signs up so they've got visual and physical warnings of work being taken place. So that's perfect. So you've got quite a lot of methods in there. You've got the communication, you've got the, the barriers to physically stop people getting into the area where you're working and you've also got warning signs up. Another thing to consider, you're going to be working at a high level. You're going to be using step ladders or towers or something. So is there something that you would take into consideration with the, the equipment that you're going to be using to, to reach the light fitting? Well, before I start work, I'd like to check that the equipment is safe and in good condition, also that it has the correct certificates. So you're really setting yourself up for the safest possible scenario you can for carrying out that work. So Charlie, now that you've completed the risk assessment for this particular job that you're going to do, is that fine for the duration of the work that you're going to be doing? No, because in the working environment anything can change at any time, so for the duration of the job it needs to be reviewed. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you don't know what's going to change and you need to make sure that you're aware of the, the possible risks, even in a changing environment. With this particular job, what are some of the risks that may be changing throughout the day? Well, if I start early in the morning, there might not be many people around or in the building, but as the day progresses, more people start turning up, more risks are being in place. So to prevent any possible injury or inconvenience, communication needs to flow between the two parties. So you have to keep communicating with the people that you're working with and keep updating the risk assessment as the, the day goes on.